What is up, people of Earth and beyond case on a series? And today we have another Madden 25 Ultimate Team gameplay commentary for you. Today I'm going up against a subscriber. Um, as you can see, his team is uh, going in front of the screen right now. 95 overall. I'm 98. Uh, my team is better, but does that no means? Uh, in no means does that mean his team is bad. As you can see as I was going through, he is a very, very solid team. Very good offensive players. He's got some nice big hitters on defense. And um, hopefully I can get a win. So we are. Um, I'm away at uh, his stadium, which is, I guess he's a Patriots fan. And I am able to win the coin toss. And because I win the coin toss, I always kick off first so I get the ball at half. So we're starting off the game. Hopefully we do not give up a t kickoff return, but in this game you never really know. But I don't really, uh, I don't really get a lot of kickoff returns for touchdowns. I have only gotten one, and that was in a mutt game, and I haven't even gotten one online online. But you know what are you gonna do? But <laughs> that's aside from the topic. Uh, first play of the game, we are able to get some nice pressure, making it uh, third and eight, which he is not able to convert to a first down. So fourth and six now. Hopefully I can get a stop to start the game off. He uh, no huddles, and I keep my defense the same. Play action, and right over the middle of the field, he has his man. Uh, Ronnie Law takes his head off, but he is able to complete it anyway. Fresh set of downs. Ah uh, man, what are you gonna do? This guy just keeps you know moving down the field on me. The first time I played him, uh, he kept converting on fourth downs, so I really, uh, I really gotta cut that down. He was getting a lot of BS, but what are you gonna do? Uh, right there, I thought Dion could have taken it, but he didn't. Fourth and seven now. Can I stop him? And I, th I was on that um, uh, X like X shake uh, to the tight end, but uh, he just was a little faster than me on the cuts and I just couldn't keep up so he is able to keep the ball again he is two for two on fourth downs and I really gotta get better on fourth downs because I give up a lot of them so uh, he's uh, in the red zone right now second goal in the six and Deshaun Goldson f makes some fumble but we cannot recover so that was a bummer but fourth and goal we are we are able to stop him now hopefully we can get a turnover right here somehow I don't uh, I don't see how that guy caught it. He got injured, and he took like a nice hit in the end zone. I don't see how you hold on to that. But nevertheless, he goes for two. I really don't know why you would go for two, but he does anyway. So uh, six nothing him. A minute thirty left before halftime, and hopefully I can at least get a field goal. Since I do get the ball at half, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I give it off to Dickerson, who gets a nice seven yard gain. I then find Tony Gonzalez going across the middle of the field on an in route, who gives me all the way, who gets me all the way up to midfield. Give it off to Dickerson again, bouncing off of tackles, and he could go all the way, but I want to get tackled. I'm not gonna give him fifth, about a minute with all timeouts. I'm gonna make him use his timeouts, and I'm gonna play it strategically. Right there, I get knocked down on my shoes, but luckily, um, I believe that was Mike Mitchell. He isn't the biggest hitter ever, so I didn't fumble. Get off to give it off to Dickerson again, and he can't get anything. So I'm, I'm looking around with Cunningham. I'm trying to do some awesome stuff in the pocket, but that does not work. I'm sacked. Third and goal now at the 13. And wait for it. Wait for it. Yep, all reliable. Jerry Rice in the end zone with a um, with an out route. I believe the cornerback was on either a. Uh, yellow or light blue and they do not cover the back so right as the guy bit down back again I knew the out route would be open and luckily he got two feet in bounds so beginning of the third quarter now I am up seven to six and hopefully I can get a touchdown and you know put the pressure back on him you know obviously he can't win if he can't score again because I already have the lead right now so right now I'm forcing him to score but let's not get ahead of ourselves first thing I need to do is score myself hopefully but that will not happen Tony Gonzalez once again you know effing me up uh, as I said in my um, ultimate team lineup update Tony Gonzalez he drops a lot and that's like the third time he's fumbled for me his carrying isn't even bad and right there I drop a user pick another bailout it's not even bad it's 81 Antonio Gates is 71 and he's never fumbled for me it's it's really weird with him, but, you know, I did drop the pick, but he does not convert on fourth down, so it's kind of like that a drop pick never happened because I do get the ball anyway. So with a minute and a half in the third quarter going into the fourth, I believe I can milk away this clock, but in order to do that, I need to get a first down, and after like 10 seconds, I throw it off to Peyton on the screen. 
uh, you know, I get some yards, uh, you know, it was a broken play anyway, didn't really know what to do, uh, no one's open, I probably would have thrown it to Tony Gonzalez, but it probably would have been picked off, he's not rushing anybody, which gives me time to run with rumbling Randall Cunningham to get me the first down, bringing it to the fourth quarter, guys, all right, this game is, you know, it's right in front of me to win, and if I lose, it is completely on me. If I choke it away, no one to blame but myself. So, I'm moving the ball really nicely, getting into the two-minute warning, handing it off to Dickerson, who is rumbling and stumbling for that first down. Yeah, I guess it was a first down. Uh, keeping the clock running, he used his first timeout here. He's probably going to use his second timeout, which he does. Second and 11 now. I'm rolling out of the pocket trying to find anybody, and Cunningham is sacked. Third and 12 now. If I can't convert on this, then you know, I might... He might have a chance to win. But, I take my points. I take 40 seconds off the clock, get a field goal, make him have to score a touchdown. In my opinion, with 40 seconds left and no timeouts, I don't believe he can get a touchdown. My defense has been playing really well this game. I got a lot of big hitters that can cause some havoc. And I, in my own opinion, I just, I don't believe that can happen. So, he's basically chucking it up. Hail Marys. And, uh, he converts on third down to, it looks like Walter Payton, but he did not get out of bounds. So, 12 seconds left. He obviously hurried up because there's really no time. In triple coverage, he just throws it up. Uh, he gets batted away, away from Larry Fitzgerald. And with seven seconds left, this is basically, you know, a last-ditch effort. And uh, Deacon Jones, I believe, um, sacks him, and that will end the game. He will quit right here. Uh, GG to you. I do play this guy in a rematch. It was an interesting rematch, really. But um, um, that will be up soon. And as you can see right here, uh, he did buy my contract out there. It was a 12K coin game. You might think that's a weird... Um, a mark to put it at, but, you know, we chose 12k, that's what he had, so, um, thank you guys for watching, it's been Case Onus, and I will see you guys later.